Everyone and welcome back to another Grasshopper Adventure Series Bike Race Recap. Today we're going to be talking about the Huffmaster, which took place this past weekend in Maxwell, California. Today we're going to be meeting with Therese Cools, Mrs. Cools as I often say, who took part in the event and it was her first bike race. So Miss Cools, how are you today? I'm doing great, thank you. So to get things started, so tell us how you felt lining up with such a large group of cyclists? Honestly, I felt a little nervous at first because I know that people, a lot of the cyclists approach this, it's a race and they approach it with a race style and they go fast and they're very skilled riding in groups. And I don't have a lot of experience with that. So it made me a little nervous and that's why I chose to, for this first time, to start toward the back. Would you mind telling us a little bit about your bike and how you set it up for this ride? Well, I rode my 2018 Velo Orange Polyvalent, which is kind of an all-rounder bike, a little bit on the heavier side. I decided that I could take the front handlebar bag off of my bike, which lightened my bike up a little. Usually I use that bag to put all my food and extra supplies for a self-supported long route, but this time, since there were uh, three stops along the route, I figured that I didn't need it. So how was the actual rollout? It was great. It, it's so flat that you can really see far and having those flat mi miles gave, gave you a chance to really warm up and set your pace. There was a part where I think I was actually literally the last person in the group. I looked behind me and there was the motorcycle that's bringing the ride in. Well Therese, what do you think of the Huffmaster so far? Oh my god, it's so cool. It's beautiful out here. Yep, we got Omar. We got some friends here. We got some green hills over there. We have uh, him. Have you ridden in this area before? I have, yeah. The Huffmaster is a road that happens to be on a rando ride that I did probably four years ago. Uh -huh. um, and uh, it was part of a 400k. And it was, we were the only people on the road. Oh 
probably not the luckiest people right now. I would say. Yeah. I think it would, it definitely feels like that. on your screen the race results this is the overall the overall overall this is everyone grouped together on the long course this is uh, on race splitter.com first place overall Peter Lucas congratulations four hours 17 minutes that is insane uh, this is again just a reminder this is 88 miles and about 5,000 feet of climbing most of the climbing and many of the miles were on gravel so that what a tough day and a super strong finish. So again, congratulations to Peter. Justin Morgan and third rounding this, this whole thing out was Rich Thurman. All of them finished in four hours and 17 minutes. So it looks like they all came in uh, for a field sprint. Okay, so let's switch over to women overall. Let's get all the female participants up here on the screen. Pro women, okay, I think I got them all. Uh oh, that's not right. So I accidentally have a male category. Ah, there we go. Okay, well, there was 13 female participants in this event. I hope to see more female participants next time. First place overall goes to Romani McNamara. Congratulations, Romani. That is incredible. First place, five hours and three minutes. That is an incredibly fast time, and uh, I knew this was coming. So congratulations. Second place, Gail De Rosa. Third place, Christina Bonington. Five hours and 22 minutes. Congratulations, ladies. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and mention Mrs. Cool. She finished five hours and 51 on that heavy rando bike. So congratulations, Therese. Um, I hope you enjoyed the day and uh, you did a fantastic job out there. I hope we'll have you back out for some more bike racing. And uh, yeah, so that's the overall uh, results. And if you guys are interested in checking out your results, if you were there, go ahead and head over to racesplitter.com. This was called the Huffmaster on April 20th, 2019. So before I go, I wanna thank all of you who came out and participated in, the, in this event. I wanna thank Jeremiah from the BRAD Foundation who helped create this charity ride. I want to thank Jason from DFL who crafted up this very fun route. Of course, Miguel from the Grasshopper Adventure Series. I want to thank the volunteers who come out each time and make sure that everybody gets registered and signed in and I really appreciate all the work you put in helping mark the course. I want to thank Maxwell for hosting us and I want to thank all the ranchers out there on the roads who were very kind and generous to us. I want to thank all of you for watching, and until next time, thanks again. Have a nice day.